beloved welcome to my channel i hope you're good i hope you're healthy i hope you're taking care of yourself in these very trying times um so this video guys if you're new hi welcome you if you're not what's up what's up what's up um uh guys so this video i've been trying to record yesterday and i, I had like a lot of interruptions and storage problems and then uh, the final video as well I was not feeling well so I was sneezing in most of the video and I'm like Ugh, no I have to redo this okay um, so guys uh, I'm also not trying to try to make it too long because it eventually became a bit too long in the previous uh, video so um, I'm back my beloved and I have as you can see by the title I'm here to speak on the wonderful mother okay that divine mother um, if you want to connect with her, how to connect with her, offerings, what she helps you with, how she's helped me in my journey, my connection with her. Um, yes, you know, I didn't want to leave you guys dry and hanging on the Holy Trinity video. I really, really wanted to do a video also um, specifically for Goddess Alset, Goddess Isis, um, the Divine Mother. Okay. Um, my connection with her and everything okay and just you know just to give you guys some information if you're someone who feels called to work with her or connect to her you know um how do you get the ball rolling and today i felt like spirit was like you have to do this video now and i actually had forgotten all about it because i was meant to do it today um on my way back from work um i did mention to you guys previously that i i'm going to be running a little bit slow on the channel and the services that I want to do with the website and everything because now I've also found a part-time job but this is my passion this is my life so I'm committing to this because this is me and this is what I came here to do so I'm gonna definitely make time for this you know hello high water <laughs> okay so uh, what reminded me is that on my way back uh, I could feel the energy you know I can always sense and feel moon energy when it's around me even when the Sun is out um, I, I don't know how to really I explain it to you, but usually I'll be tapped into my intuition I'll just be feeling my spirit and I can hear my spirit guides a lot clearer without having to silence my mind and quieten my ego and just do all those um, Preparations, okay, so um, and it's kind of weird because as you can see the Sun is bright as ever it is um, About like one o'clock Okay, so usually the moon is not out at this time. So um i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it let me see if i can like i don't know if y'all going to be able to see it because it's so bright as well but like it just it just drew me it drew my attention when i was coming back home i was like oh my gosh yes i have to connect and i have to do this video with my beloveds okay so um i'm also not trying to make it too long okay um so my beloved how can i even describe the wonderful mother okay for those of you that are familiar with who she is okay she's the divine mother okay the mother of living things okay she has many names okay she is also sometimes known as she of 10,000 names because she has traveled all over the world um, spreading love light uh, you know guiding people onto a righteous path and awakening them to the divine uh, essence okay so astrologically those that are not familiar with um, Isis she's also known as the Syrian star because um, that is her energy okay so she is a Syrian goddess okay her counterpart is uh, Osir, Osir, uh, as others know in Greek mythology as uh, Osiris okay I'm not gonna uh, speak too much about him and her and uh, Heru uh, because I have like a whole video on the Holy Trinity which I will link below this one okay um this one is solely just for the mother okay uh, i really felt called to do this as she's been really guiding me along my journey and uh i part of me just wanted to share this truth with you guys you know um so you can understand where i'm coming from and as i mentioned previously when i start channeling and connecting uh, you can be comfortable with the energy because her energy is really <laughs> all over me around me surrounds me just you know all that good good okay so um she is a syrian star okay the syrian goddess okay um she's really more known in uh, ancient kemet or egypt okay as the divine mother the guardian uh keeper pharaohs she the pharaohs 
chairs and the throne, okay, um, through uh, Heru's victory over his evil uncle um, and getting his throne back after his father, Ose, was slain, okay, um, and just the stories of how she has magical powers, okay, she is a goddess of love, magic, rebirth, transformation, wealth as well, although a lot of people may not speak to her, speak about that aspect of her, she can help you manifest money, okay, but it won't initially be the first phase and step, okay, she is also the goddess of, as I mentioned, rebirth and transformation, so, um, if you are called into this journey, if you're wanting to renew yourself, not even want, you don't want this, this it just has to happen, you know, change is the only constant thing. Um, she really is the person that will guide you through this transformation, okay? Um, and also the goddess of magic, okay? So if you're called into um, priestesshood, or if you're called into initiate under her order, um, you tap into the unseen okay she usually always actually holds your hand through the journey okay she helps you quieten your ego to um tap into your higher levels of thinking she's also your protector okay so um anytime you're having spiritual warfare or anything that is happening uh, around you okay she is the one that you call on to for protection um the dynamic that you have with her that i can explain for myself okay i'm just gonna give you guys information <coughs> excuse me oh my gosh really <laughs> um on how i have connected with her okay and how she's uh, helped me okay um so where do i even begin <laughs> okay let me just start with um working with her okay how to initiate it okay and yes like for me i i won't lie i didn't know really much about kemet i don't know much about deities gods and goddesses um she just came to me in a dream um uh, and i just knew then and there that she was my guardian and then um also through meditations and um also connecting with her and say and um the holy trinity as i mentioned in the previous video okay um she's venerated in a lot of um cultures even in my where i am here in kemet okay um she's still venerated she has many many names okay she's also known as to be the moon goddess the green goddess the fertility goddess um she has a lot of aliases okay so um it really will depend on your connection to her and um when you go when you connect and you start doing the inner work and you know she starts taking you back maybe to past lives and you start understanding maybe your connection with her the journey that you've come through okay because you may be a priestess of hers okay you may not even be aware of that um that's something that i am like being initiated in and through um because of past connections and everything so um now let's say you found out that okay you've learned about her you've connected with her you feel like you want to connect with her where do you start how would i advise someone to start okay for me i would simply advise you to create an altar okay it doesn't if you have the space um and you are already on this journey um create it okay wherever okay but she's not fussy so she doesn't mind even if you like maybe you're in a, you don't have your own space and um maybe you're living at home and you don't want the judgment because that negative energy can really impact on your manifestations and your connection and um, because now you're more in fear so you're not going to really be able to like receive her okay um so she doesn't mind you doing mobile altars okay uh so anywhere you go okay have a little uh, a set bag that is something that i've been kind of working with because um i recently moved back to my hometown so um i had an altar built up for her where i was living before but now that i'm at home it's just not that easy okay so i kind of have like my own mobile altar that um i make that i made where i have certain ornaments okay um so she's uh known as the lady of the sea okay she's the mother of the ocean okay she is linked and connected to uh yemoja in the yoruba pantheon okay i did mention in a, a pre previous video that some 
goddesses uh, or, or deities uh, traveled uh, uh, along the world so they are have, may have other names but in other pantheons and other religions okay so um she's also connected to Oshun so Oshun and my energy is a, a balance of both when you're working with Aset um, when I started working with Aset uh, Oshun and Yemaya popped up to me as well so you may actually have that correlink thing you know I don't know if that's a word <laughs> um, maybe, maybe another deity maybe from a Hindu pantheon may start wanting to work with you because it's that similar energy but ideally you, you before you even like want to start tapping into deities and stuff like that I would advise that you start with her because she's the mother of all okay the mother of all living the mother of all the goddesses she birthed all the goddesses from all the other pantheons okay so um you really want to come to her first okay if you are even considering it considering uh stepping into your spirituality i i, I would advise building that connection um and then you might eventually tap into others okay as i mentioned because there is that, that link okay um, and then you also may connect with Asa or uh, Heru because she's, those are her intertwined, they like the intertwined in a way, as I mentioned, the Holy Trinity, so they really do work together. You know, sometimes you could be working with Osir or with Heru and she'll pop up, but usually you get to, it's the mother that you reach first, okay, um, before the son and the father, but it's just been so twisted with religion, okay, and I also mentioned in a previous video about the age of the goddess, I'm going to link that below as well, because um, the Bible, my beloved, has been really twisted, okay, like, if you really want to grasp the real truth of the Bible, because it is truth, you need to change he to she, her to him, and God to goddess, um, you know, uh, there's a part in the Bible where they speak about uh, the Lord's wings will cover you and protect you. And if you have even seen pictures of Aset, you know that she has wings. Okay, so like literally the whole Bible is like really about the mother. Okay, um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, who? How dare you? But it's the truth. Okay, and even Yeshua um, was initiated in her mysteries and in her order okay um the temple belongs to the goddess okay uh facts all right <laughs> so uh if you're not ready to hear this information then really you're on the wrong channel but if you're if you are feeling this and resonating with it it is your truth and it's time to tap into it and it's time to let go of uh the stigmas and the stories like i won't lie the most important thing that she also does for you okay before you want to manifest a, a husband and a mansion and a million dollars and all these things she really works on your inner self okay your inner child okay if you have some wounds that you need to heal okay your relationship with your parents your relationship with your surroundings the community she really is community based because she's a mother of all living things so she will open up your mind to even how you have a perceived life and how you may have even wronged other people you're not even aware of it okay she really helps you surrender your ego to even be open to like spiritual experiences and um like astral traveling and lucid dreaming and just other amazing things okay or just even transcendental meditations or just anything of that um facade if that's the right word <laughs> she she really will be that gatekeeper she will open that door for you and protect you okay because anyone that knows about this journey I, I, I learned the hard way unfortunately um, that there sometimes are usually benevolent spirits demons you may call them Satan whatever you call it that want to block your spiritual enlightenment and growth because they are energy vampires and they've been using you energetically okay from the moment that you were born you may have had curses over your head you may have had things that were taken over you and you know the mother has promises for her children so it's time for you to reclaim it through letting go of absolutely everything that society has deemed to be so and be willing to unlearn be willing to unlearn and be willing to face your fears okay she will really really help you face your fears because if you know anything about the energy of the goddess okay i kind of like picture it with the cow because that the cow is also her energy okay because some of some some images of her she has a a, a, a crown with uh uh 
cow horns, okay? Like, the cow is fearless, okay? The cow is quite fearless and strong. Although, like, it won't attack you, okay? You won't find yourself being attacked by the cow. But, like, or oh, sometimes you can. Don't play with it. But, like, she has, that is her energy as well. That is her energy. Okay, my beloveds, I'm gonna cut this video and do a part two soon because I also, my children are here and um, I also realize that I'm just trying to go super fast because I don't want to make it too long but I think it's also don't want to miss pivotal information. So catch me in part two.